Welcome to another video in which we are going to write Python program to count the number of digits that is present in a number. So guys it is very easy to find the number of digits in a number that is entered by the user. So it can so happen that you have a number for which you want to find the number of digits which is entered by the user. So basically there are two ways that you can use. The very first way is by using the while loop that we are going to check with the help of examples as well. And the second way is by using the length function that is len function after converting the number to the string guys apart from these two ways you can also implement your own logic in order to find the number of digits but these are the two easiest ways in order to find the number of digits in a number so guys let us move to the vs code over here so the very first thing that we are going to do is we are going to define the num variable and let's say we initialize with the number that is one two three which is having three digits over here now guys it can be any number of digits so we need to find how many digits are present inside this num variable programmatically so guys over here we will be using the while loop so while num is not equal to zero so guys basically we are going to decrement this number by using the while loop over here so after this colon what we have to do is the very important expression in order to reduce the number of digits for a particular number is by using the divide operator so over here we can use the divide operator and then equal to 10 so guys this is nothing but num divided by 10 and the result we are assigning it to the num variable again so this is the shorthand method so basically this will be interpreted as num it is equal to num divided by 10 and the forward slashes are two times that's because we don't want the result to be present in the decimal format so guys this will return us the integer number as the result and it will be assigned to this num variable over here now guys what is the next thing we need to increment the number of counts so over here when we divide 123 by 10 we will get the quotient as 12 and that is what we are assigning to the num variable and the remainder that is 3 will be discarded and then once the remainder that is 3 is discarded we need to increment the count so we are also going to define the count variable which is initially 0 and then once the remainder is discarded we are going to increment the count variable by 1 so we are doing count it is equal to count plus 1 and this is the shorthand method in order to increment the number by 1 over here so this is same as when we say count is equal to count plus 1 and then guys next time again when num it is equal to 12 then again 12 divided by 10 will return us the quotient that is 1 and 2 will be discarded over here so count will be incremented again and then next time num it is equal to 1 so again we will be getting num divided by 10 that is 1 divided by 10 which will give us the integer value as 0 this time and then in the last step count will be incremented by 1 to give us the result as 3 and then now since the num value is 0 the control flow will come out of this while loop over here and then guys simply we can have the print statement so we say print and then we say number of digits and then colon and then we can simply provide the count variable over here so that the number of digits is being displayed so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting number of digits it is equal to 3 over here now guys let us check some other number over here so when we provide 1 2 3 4 5 6 which have 6 number of digits let us save this file now and try running this code once again so that to see whether the number of digits are correct or not so as you can see number of digits is being displayed as 6 over here so guys this particular logic is working as far as counting the number of digits are concerned now guys the next way is to find the number of digits by using the len function after converting the number to the string so guys basically this is a number we can convert it into the string and using the len function that is applicable to the string variables we can count the number of digits over here so what we can do is simply we can remove these lines of code over here which is not required and then we can simply have number of digits and then over here what we can do is first of all we need to convert this number to string so we provide str class over here as you can see and inside the brackets we need to provide this num variable so that this particular integer is converted to string first 
and then guys after converting this to string we can use the len function over here so as you can see len function can take one parameter that is the string or object in order to find its length over here so basically for this length function we are providing the entire string which is coming from this number variable so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see number of digits it is being displayed as 6 over here now guys let me just put some other number we can have 7623 as the number let me just save this file now and try running this code so it is having the number of digits as 4 and that is what is being displayed over here so guys this is another easy way in order to find the number of digits by converting the number into the string and then using the len function in order to find the length of the string guys what will be the number of digits for this number that is present inside the num variable over here that is 98623 comment in the comment section below let us see whether your answer is correct or not so please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to check if two strings are anagram so stay tuned